sweater today and then my top is just it's just interesting to say the least these jeans are also like a thing I'm gonna find some earrings that go with this outfit and hone everything together just thinking of these hearts but I don't have enough pink know what I'm wearing. I'm just going to do these big silver ones. Oh my gosh. These backs are the back on this is so bent. Alright. Well, we got one of them in. This is probably the most interesting jewelry I've ever worn. It almost looks like I have gauges. Okay, that's pretty much all I have time to do. And then I put my hair um, in this clip. I'm not supposed to be like the thing. I don't think I've really had my braids at work. I haven't worn braids at work a lot, so this is different for me compared to like what I normally wear and how I normally dress. And then, uh, I have on like a tank top underneath here that's just not doing anything. All right, we have to go because we're running late. Have my work bag. 
always ready to go. I should say work backpack. And then I just need to pack my lunch and then head out the door. Also, we're still using our Mark Jacobs tote dupe. And then this is our water bottle. I like that it's at least sunny outside today. Let me put my lip color. Wearing this Victoria's Secret cream liquid lip today. Let's have a pop of color. All right, y'all. It is freaking cold outside today. So I didn't bring a coat. It's only 54 degrees. I guess I should have checked my weather before I left. But we're just going to put our heat on and hopefully that keeps me warm. Okay, we're running a little bit late. Hopefully there's no traffic so I'll still get to my job on time. It takes like 40 minutes depending on traffic, 40 to 45 minutes. what we are just gonna say to ourselves when it doesn't feel like we're off to a good start <sighs> also I'm hoping my 24-hour allergy medicine is actually gonna last me I took it yesterday around 5 no when I got home around 3 <sighs> I already feel it. Okay, and then we have our Alani energy drink today. This is the Tropical flavor, one of the best ones. I didn't do my nails. Tomorrow's going to be better because I'm actually going to do my prep I like I wanted to. So I wanted to do my toes and do my nails, but we're just going to have to do those tonight. And what else are we doing tonight? Tonight, I decided I'm getting Jimmy John's, I'm getting cheddar, my cupcake, and I'm getting my cheddar bites from, or no, there, my cheese curd from Culver's, because I deserve it. Oh man, it is bright. Why do I feel like I sliced my, my finger? Also, I feel kind of tired, but it's my fault because... Honestly, it's not that I stayed up super late. I was in bed by like 11, but I definitely did not give myself enough time to actually sleep. Is there no one in this fast lane? That was so weird y'all because I'm like not used to a bunch of cars all driving in this one lane. I was like, is there really no one driving in this other lane? Whew. Other than it being cold though, it's nice outside. I'm like, please tell me it's gonna warm up later today. Otherwise, I'm glad I wore the outfit I wore today because it's, at least I have my sweater with me. Or I have a sweater on to help keep me more warm. Oh. I think it's also it's a mixture of going to bed early, but I also are going to bed, but I also have to wake up earlier for work. So I set my alarm at 8:05. I snoozed it like three times, so I didn't actually get out of bed till closer to 8.30, which of course is not good. Mm. 
That's some good stuff. I'm not gonna check my time it's gonna take to get to work until I'm closer. So I also had to get ready in like 30 minutes this morning, which also wasn't ideal. Oh, I feel like everything about today has just been, okay, not everything. I'm being kind of dramatic. But so much about today already has just been not a complete failure, but like, man. So tonight, I'm going to try to be in bed by 10. I also do want to do my workout. And I want my, um, I want to get my food. So usually I don't get back home until around 7-ish. So if I stop and get food, that's gonna take until like 7.30. And then if I work out for 30 minutes, after I eat, oh, see it just doesn't work well. I feel like it would be better if I worked out in the morning before I got ready. But I was not gonna get up early because I went to bed too late. Excuse me guys, I'm sorry. I hate when I burp on camera. <laughs> Cause burping is just gross. Anyways, I hate when I, um, I feel like I've been sleeping better at my mom's house than I was before when I had my like mm, concerns. So that's good. I try to like listen to like a Bible meditation and that helps a lot. Um, and then also, I'm trying to get back on my Bible plan y'all. I was like two weeks behind. It was asinine and I think I was, I overwhelmed myself because I was trying to catch up. I was trying to catch up on my Bible app plan. I was like two weeks behind. I think I got it to like eight days behind. And then I just stopped. And then I was 18 days behind. So over two weeks. So now I'm just like shifted my dates again. And we're back on track and now I think listening to my plan each day helps a lot I don't know why but reading helps me I mean listening to it while I read helps me understand what I'm reading better versus just reading it and then when I'm reading it I feel like I'm like not digesting what I'm reading as well Sometimes it seems like it's really hard to focus when I'm reading the Bible. And part of it I do know is like your heart posture in a sense because, you know, when you're reading the Bible more as a chore, you're not doing it because you actually want to understand it. You're like, I'm just doing this so that I can feel like I'm a good Christian or whatever. And when you're actually, you know, eager to learn and understand the Bible, that's when you get the most out of it. So, that's kind of my take on reading the Bible. Just because you read the Bible or read the Bible doesn't mean you understand it. I've read a lot of verses in the Bible that I didn't understand, especially as a child. But now if I read them as an adult, they make like 10,000 more sense. This idiot car. Why are you getting on the internet going, one, under the speed limit, but two, not paying attention? All right, guys, that's it for my morning rant as I drive to work. Two thousand years later. Everybody's going to the party, have a real good time. Dancing in the desert, blowing up the sunshine. Blast off! It's party time! And we don't live in a fashion nation! Blast off! It's party time!
guys. Today has been a day. That's all I'm going to say. The traffic driving home has just sucked so freaking bad. So bad. Um, so I did want to work out today. So I'm debating between getting Culver's and getting Jimmy John's. I know if I get a sandwich and my cupcake, I can eat that later today. But if I get my burger um, at Culver's, I'm not gonna want to. I'm not gonna want to work out first and then eat. So I'm thinking, just based off of that alone, I'm going to get a sandwich so that way when I get home, I can work out, shower, and then eat my sandwich and my cupcake. Um, and that way I make sure I work out today because I want to keep some sort of workout regimen, especially since I haven't worked out in like three days or so. Also, I tried the um, milkshakes, like a protein milkshake. It was disgusting. So we're not going to get that again. bought a six pack of it and I'm like I can't drink this it tastes disgusting um if you know a good protein shake like that's a milk supposed to be a meal replacement because that's what I had packed for my breakfast but what I had was nasty so I ended up not eating literally any of it I like took two sips I was like Ugh. so if you guys know of good tasting protein shakes Please let your girl know. I also need to do my toes and other stuff. There was so much traffic getting home. Like usually it's like around 40 minutes. Probably took 45 with the traffic. I had to take like a, um, what's it called? In a, not a back way, but it like looped me around, I guess, where there was really bad traffic. So we're getting home a little bit later than usual. But my hope is I'll be home before 7.30 and then I can work out from 7.30 to 8, eat dinner, and then shower and be in bed by 10 p.m. So I can be asleep by 11 and make sure I get my at least 8 hours of sleep since I have to wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. So that's my tentative plan for the day. So I have like not a lot of time honestly because honestly this commute this is why working from home is honestly better for me sleep wise because I don't have to do the commute to work which eats up an hour and a half of my time every day so when I work from home literally I get up an hour before I have to clock in an hour or so because sometimes I will wake up 30 minutes before um, I have to actually clock into work and then I get off and I can just immediately start I can immediately go work out and do what I need to do but because I have to drive 40 minutes it's like I have less time in my day and I have to wake up earlier also to drive to work so it's like the days I go into the office honestly are like worse than my normal work days because it's so much more, um, I have so much less time in my day to get other stuff done, which is why I typically end up eating out. And yeah, and that's just my take on it. I'm like debating, I don't think I wanna be behind this car who's trying to speed up but not going fast enough. Ugh. When you, and whenever I drive past cars that look like they've been in an accident and then you're like watching their driving, I'm like, I wonder why. You're driving crazy. Anyways, that's my plan for the day, for the rest of the night. And hopefully I can get it all done. I'm running on not a lot of energy. I did have an energy drink this morning. Also, my bank account funds are low right now, so I'm gonna be using, well, I have a free cupcake, and then I'm just gonna use my cash for my Jimmy John's. I 
say that, but I'm probably gonna put it on my card. Honestly, I like saving my cash for when I like am going out with friends or something. So my sister gave me twenty dollars cash. I should have told her to put it in my bank account. But anyways, our um, plan for savings kind of been like we're still. I am still saving, but I'm not gonna have as much saved as I would like. I'll probably only have three thousand dollars saved after my last paycheck since i'm going to have to pay for or pay off more credit cards now so yeah that's the sucky thing about about it right now all right i'm back home or at my mom's house for work and i'm about to take off my toenail polish borrowed some nail polish remover and cotton balls for my mom and then we're gonna paint our toenails blue so yeah all right y'all i finished painting my nails i'm gonna wait like 30 minutes for them to dry but in the meantime we're gonna take off our makeup and um i guess like do some not really skincare but like get ready for bed also i realized i forgot my workout sneakers so we did not end up working out, but that's fine. I'll be able to work out plenty of other times. And then these are the wipes I'm using. ready to get in bed but I just wanted to accomplish all of my task tonight which the main thing was my nails so now that those are done we can start getting ready for bed all right I kind of forgot to show this but this is the crystal hair remover and I had tried it and I was got kind of scared but it actually does work. So you just use it in circles, I guess, not too hard. And I think it pretty much just exfoliates the hair off. I guess I'm not super hairy, so you can't really see much coming off. so much hair remover stuff but that worked look at my hairless arms so I guess let me show this comparison so this this side that I did compared to my much hairier arm so that one looks a lot more smooth Ugh, I feel like my pores look really bad on camera so I'm about to use this on my legs and then I'm going to take a bath. Okay. <laughs> 